Data from the 2020 census shows the population in Texas continues to grow, which could lead to some shifts in demographics later on. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Executive Director Brian Ruddle and Rose Clouston, the Voter Protection Director at the Texas Democratic Party. Now, yesterday, the early numbers from the 2020 census shows that our national population is getting older and it is moving from one state to another. California lost enough people to lose one congressional seat, but Texas gained enough people to get two additional seats. Rose, does a certain party benefit from this growth in Texas? Well, if you look at the last decade of trajectory, you can see that population has been moving into Texas for years. And you see that Democrats are doing better and better every election cycle as we have new voters and younger voters coming of age. And also our Democratic Party's message is resonating with a lot more voters. And so Texas is turning Democratic and we see that from the results. We don't even have to necessarily rely on the census, but just what we see in the results for sure. Brian, which political party or leanings do you think the people who are moving here from California and the Northeast represent? Well, I think it's very obvious. Uh, you know, voters know why they moved to Texas. I think that the, the you know, exodus from California, from states like New York, uh, kind of really resonate. You know, people understand that Texas is a land of economic opportunity right now, and people are moving. Um, you know, as far as, you know, benefiting one party or another, it's actually very difficult to say. Uh, here in, in central Texas, we're going to see some some very large uh, uh, changes in our in our uh, lines in our congressional districts, uh, as well as uh, Dallas and Houston as well. So it, it it's, remains to be seen. Uh, a lot of people know why they're leaving these states. Uh, they're moving to Texas because uh, we are the we are the state of limited government, and uh, you know re Republicans have really kind of led that message nation nationwide. You know, Rose, what do you think is the reason people are moving here? Texas is a great state and we have a lot to offer folks for sure, but they also see the failure of Republican government in terms of if you look at our power outage and failure during the winter storm and when you see how we've handled the pandemic. So folks are moving to Texas because we're a great state with amazing people, but they also see the failures of the Republican government in this state and they want to change. You know, Brian, how big is the concern for conservatives and Republicans that all these people from California are going to come in and, and vote for the policies that were in California and perhaps that's the reason they left? Uh, it is a main reason why people are leaving. Uh, you know, when we talk about failure of leadership, I, I think that Cuomo and Newsom, uh, as the, the bell ringers of the Democrat Party, as far as gubernatorially goes, uh, you know, they, they have been a complete disaster. Uh, people are moving to Texas uh, be, because of the economic opportunities we have. And here in Austin, you know, we, we do are tracking a lot from Silicon Valley, but, you know, people from around uh, around the country are moving to Texas because, uh, you know, the results are, are, are in the numbers. Uh, people vote with their feet. Uh, they recognize that Texas is uh, the economic engine of America and they want to be part of it. Uh, and this economic engine is driven by the Republicans in our state. Okay, we are out of time. Brian Rose, thank you both very much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you.